Royal Enfield 650 Interceptor. We recently acquired this modern classic to accompany our collection of vintage and classic bikes um, because we wanted something that we could use and rely on as a so everyday, more modern bike. Uh, my dad and myself bought this between us. It's a 2019 model, but it wasn't registered until 2021. And we paid just, what, £4,700 for this. It's an absolute bargain. Only done just over 3,000 miles, excellent condition. Really liked it because it's the one with the chrome tank. Now, in standard trim, these are excellent bikes anyway. We love them, and that's the reason why we went for an Interceptor as opposed to some of the other modern classics that are available but we wanted to make our own little tweaks to it and some improvements. Because one thing, my daddy's in his mid seventies now, he found the weight right on his limit. So it was the ways that we could reduce the weight, but also improve the handling and the quality of the ride just that little bit more. So this has become a bit of a project bike for us now. And with the support of the guys from Tech Bike Parts, uh, they do a complete range of accessories for the Royal Enfield Interceptor, Continentals, Meteors, and a range of Triumphs and other machines as well. We've added some goodies to the bike to uh, give us those improvements that we were looking for. So let's just have a little run through of what we've done. Starting at the rear then. So we've removed the extender from the mudguard because we thought it was just ugly black plastic. So that was easy enough to do. So that has come off straight away. I know you don't get as much protection, but this is only going to go out in dry days anyway. So that's fine. Uh, slightly smaller number plate, but the guys at Tech2 supplied us with the lighting kit. So at the rear, these pair of LED indicators in this sort of classic style, torpedo style, if you like, and this new uh, brake light and rear light as well. So that replaces the ones that were there before. So you can see as a comparison how big and, uh, I mean, they weren't unattractive, but a bit cheap, plastic. These are cast alloy with chromed up, which are really nice. This is all metal as well. And it replaces the great big light that was on there before. So it just neatens it up makes it nice and tidy, and they're nice and bright too. Fitting of these, fairly straightforward. I mean, you have to remove all this to get into these, um, in behind this fixing, or this cast in here, uh, which isn't a quick job, but it's fairly straightforward. One thing we did do though, was I bought some extra spacers. So these stainless uh, thicker washers or spacers here, I've added myself just to get the lights to come away a little bit more um, on their stalks as it were, because there's plenty of thread in there. So you could even take them out further if you wanted, but we added those as well. But overall, I think that gives a really neat appearance now to the rear end of the bike. Um, one thing I do want to improve, we'll change these, we put these fasteners on as well. So we'll cut them down so there's not all this thread poking out the back and we'll get rid of this or spray it silver at least. because so that's the original factory fitted one just to tidy that up. But that gives a really good clean and classic look to the rear. There was a, a grab or a pillion handle on the back there as well, which fitted under here around the rear of the bike. So we've removed that and again, it just neats it up and saves probably what, nearly a kilogram in weight as well. So again, that's a nice thing to do. We're gonna keep this seat because this is a factory fitted seat, quite like that with its stitching effect that it's got. Um, but the other major difference then is these tech shocks at the back. So they give a better ride than the standard factory fitted items. Uh, they're also more adjustable as well than the standard ones. So you can tell the standard ones, these are quite heavy as well um, with these gold uh, sort of canisters on the back, which I don't actually think do a great deal. But anyway, there you go. They're the original ones that were on it. And you can see how the, even though the guy really didn't ride it in the wet very often, how these have sort of weathered very quickly. So we're hoping that the, the tech ones will be more durable, give a better ride uh, and give us more adjustability as well. So it's lowered the ride height just a smidge as well, probably about 10 mil, which is handy for my dad who's, who's not as tall as me. So again, I think they look really nice. And then moving forward, uh, I suppose the biggest change you can see is this two into one exhaust. So you can see the silence, this is called the Stinger uh, two into one, again, supplied by tech. Full stainless steel system, enables the bike to breathe more easily, sounds better, and you'll hear that when we fire it up in a minute, and, uh, but more importantly, saves a considerable amount of weight. So the original rear silencers and pipes, well, the silencers alone weigh about six kilos each, and they're quite big, quite cumbersome, 
But the weight saving with this, we reckon, is over 12 kilograms by fitting this compared to the standard system. So that's quite a lot. And we've got the original pipes back here. You can see them, how big and meaty they are. The silencers, I mean, these things, they're so... Oh. You've felt the weight of these, Alex, haven't you? And they are seriously heavy. I mean, they're well made, to be fair, and they've got the cats in and everything, so they have to be strong and durable. But uh, the chrome on them is pretty good, but that being stainless, obviously, would be far more weatherproof than, than these were. So there's a huge weight saving there. I'm going to be careful with them because they're so heavy. There we are. And I think the appearance, it's really neat. It's a shorter piece. I really like that. So pleased with that. And we'll, uh, we'll see what that sounds like in a minute when we fire it up. Foot pegs as well, the original foot pegs. Again, with these, these give us a bit more uh, adjustability. You can change the length on these. Uh, they're alloy as well. Should be a bit more durable than the standard ones. Um, fitting these, they were a bit fiddly actually. They didn't just slot straight in. We did have to do a little bit of work to um, filing down and we'll need to repaint that to get them to go into place. And it's same, actually going back to the exhaust, fitting of those, that was actually fairly straightforward. Easier with two pairs of hands, but that was uh, getting the old ones off and putting that in. We sort of did it in an afternoon, no problem. And we didn't swear too much doing it, so it couldn't have been that bad, um, which is good. Also here then, so we've replaced the levers on both sides. So foot uh, for the brake and for the clutch. So the original ones are just these silver painted affairs, which look okay, but um, really these are much nicer. They look really well made. You can take this off so you can have just a single uh, piece on the end rather than the twin if you wanted to on the brake. We've done the same on the clutch on the other side. So they look really good. Again, fairly straightforward to fit, just a bit of patience required. And there's a good video on the tech website to show you how to do it. We're probably just going to fit a spacer in here because the originals were really wobbly and you've still got a bit of play here, which isn't a problem, but again, we might just put a washer in there just to enable it to be a bit more of a snugger fit on there, which might help. But again, yeah, you can see on the, so new gear lever on this side replaces the original, but there's still play, and there's loads of play in the original one, but we want to just reduce that. It's that sideways movement, so I might put a little uh, washer in there just to tighten that up a bit. But yeah, they look good, so... Then carrying on up the bike, we've got a couple of, sort of styling pieces here, if you like, or accessories. So oil cooler on the front isn't the prettiest thing in the world. It's quite neat that it fits almost within the frame rails, as it were, but it's got this sort of ribbed section running down it, which is a little bit ugly, to be fair, and it, it gives it more stand out than it needs. So we've just got this really great uh, guard on the front, uh, which is painted up. Uh, it didn't weigh a lot either, so it's not really adding any weight to it, and it just neatens that up quite nicely. And the same underneath, this sump guard, which is really heavy duty, really well made. Again, fairly straightforward to fit. The bracket here, it hides the oil filter quite well, so it just neatens that whole section up. It looks really nice and adds a bit more protection as well to the bottom end of the engine, of course. So they're on there. And then moving up towards the top, so we go at the very top, Got these new levers, which are adjustable for reach, which are machined alloy. Uh, again, they look nicer and neater than the front ones. I've just got this strap on here at the minute, because while it's on this ramp, I don't want the bike rolling forward. So um, brake and clutch lever, both the same. And finished off with these mirrors on the end, which bar end mirrors, uh, rather than the ones on stalks coming out of the, uh, the handlebars further in. So I just want some stainless fittings to go in there now, actually, just to cap them off or rubber grommets, which should be good. Then the big difference at the front is the headlamp brackets. So the original headlamp brackets are these painted silver ones, which are okay, but they don't really match back to anything else on the bike, particularly well, the color of them. Um, they're not overly heavy, but we've replaced them with these machine alloy ones, which are very lightweight, uh, very easy to fit, matching nicely with the indicators, LED indicators at the front, which again replace the original factory fit ones, which were these, uh, these ones here, which were sort of plastic chrome. So they look neater, better made. Again, fitting this, easier with two pairs of hands than one, to be honest, uh, and wiring them into the headlamp was fed it. But what I did buy were these additionally, separate to the kit, sourced these spaces, stainless steel spaces to go in there, 
just to push the indicators out a bit further because they were very tight in on there. Um, so that just, I think, just neatens them up a little bit more. And then again, the original sort of bolt that went in there was a standard hex bolt. So I've bought some button head uh, ones to go in there just to neaten it up. So yeah, that's all the external elements. We also uh, had the seat up and the cover off the side because we fitted a fuel boost plug, which improves the fuel in at lower revs um, and enables you to use, it's better to fit that with the exhaust. So it just helps remap the, uh, the system as it were, or, or the ECU of the system, understand that there's a different freer flowing exhaust on there and improves the fuel in at lower revs to make the engine run a bit, a bit better. Uh, and also we've got a, a free flow air filter in there or a high airflow filter fitted that's also got the cover of it removed. So it's more air going in, helps the engine breathe better. Um, which again, I think overall with the exhaust, we might get another two or three horsepower out of doing that as well. So again, it just, it just helps improve the performance a little bit and the sound and the usability of the engine. So that's what we've done so far. There's gonna be a few other things we'd like to look at doing. Um, specifically, we might look at doing something that improves these forks, so whether we change the springs that are in there or the adjustability of those would be good. We're gonna take these horrible reflectors off the side. Um, so we need to get in there to get the glue off there and do it in a neat way so it just shows the bottom of the forks um, in a nicer manner. And then really, I think the next step would be, these are the standard Pirellis that fitted on the bike, which are fine, um, but there are better tires out there. So I think we'll look to improve those and get some, some new rubber on it which will make it handle better. And then, um, yeah, I think we're more or less there, but we haven't ridden it yet. <laughs> so I haven't tested how these levers work or if they're in the right position. So the next job is to fire her up and take her out for a spin. <laughs>